How's it going guys? Welcome to another apathetic fish painting tutorial. This time I'm going to paint a Chaos Chosen Space Marine. This time I choose to use uh, the uh, Vallejo Liquid Gold range for this miniature and I have to say it really exceeded my expectations. I really loved the result of this miniature and I would definitely recommend you to use it if you have the chance. And uh, if you don't know how to use it, I'm going to leave a link here and on the description below so that you can see my tutorial for using Vallejo Liquid Gold Paint Range. Now I'm going to start this time with a primed black miniature. Seems as the uh, Space Marine is already a black based uh, miniature. And I'm going to use Liquid Gold. This one's called White Gold. I actually changed my mind uh, over the uh, miniature because I realized this paint was in really bad shape and uh, I redone this step later on with just uh, Liquid Gold Silver. Once we've done that, I'm going to start base coating all of the uh, trims on the uh, shoulder pads with old gold. This is going to be for the shoulder pads and any other place that you want to be uh, gold. As you can see, this paint gives you almost instant uh, gold. It doesn't really need any shading or any uh, further treatment and I think it looks just uh, beautiful. It is very possible that you will make some mistakes in this step, or maybe not, but if you do, don't worry too much about it. You can always use uh, Abaddon Black and clean up your mess. Once that's done, you can see that it's already uh, looking very nice. The next step I'm going to do is to use a uh, lead belcher and start painting uh, all of the iron parts, silver parts that are not really silver but uh, iron, like the chains and the bolters. And also the metal parts on the uh, joints of the legs, of the back, back part of the legs and things that you see fitting like the uh, exhaust pipes on the backpack as well. Now that I have done that, I'm going to use corn red and start base coating all of the uh, 
loin cloth and uh, other cloth areas that you see around the miniature. I'm also going to use it on the uh, bolter cases and some other places that you may like to be read. After that, I redo the uh, silver parts of the miniature with silver, liquid gold silver, because uh, the other paint was really glittery and had a lot of uh, bad pigment on it. So you can see the change here, that it looks very good, but if you decide that you like the other color, you can just go ahead and leave it like that. Next step, I'm going to use uh, Denef Stone or Rackat Flesh to start base coating all of the bone areas. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to use Morn Fang Brown and I'm going to paint just the uh, strap of the bolter that it has hanging on the back. Now that we are done with all of our base coats, I'm going to use uh, washes. I'm going to use ball red over all the red areas. Next I'm going to use uh, known oil over all of the uh, iron areas and I'm going to use it as well and on the uh, liquid silver areas but just uh, little touches here and there on the crevices and cracks and uh, all of the little uh, like rivets that the uh, silver parts have. As you can see you just want to give a little touch because uh, we don't want to ruin the shine that the uh, liquid silver already has. Next I'm going to use Devlin Mud or Agrax Airshape over the uh, bone areas. This one I'm also going to use it on the gold areas but as well as the other one just on the rivets and little details that you want to have a little bit of shade.
thank you very much for watching stay tuned for part two like comment and subscribe check out my facebook page on the description below and i'll see you on the next video thank you very much